today i will be showing you a fun project so this is i have made is a morse code generator so this has been implemented by using the triple five timer to be used in an stable mode so the stable mode is extremely popular configuration for the triple five timer so uh, the specific rc values has been has been used to make up the desired output frequency and this speaker you can see it is being driven directly from the pin 3 of the IC so the pin 3 is able to uh, deliver almost around 200 milliampers of current and my advice will always be to utilize the transistor buffer from the pin 3 so as to drive more currents to the speaker but since this is a, a, a 32 ohm speaker so I have directly driven, driven it from the pin 3 of the IC but it is always advisable to use a transistor buffer uh, and the second thing is that when I got these kind of switches, so these uh, switches when I bought from market, the very first application which came in my mind is to build a fun project, for example, this kind of a Morse code generator. So you can just tap in the switch and make the sound from the speaker. So uh, I have attached a 9 volt battery here and uh, at the longer you tap, the longer you will get the sound. So this switch is, has been just placed in the power line for the entire circuit. This has been placed in the positive power power rail, and uh, hence it is just a simple a simple switch which is which is powering the entire circuit. So this is an extremely simple circuit and is built for fun and educational purposes only. Nothing of a serious application is to be intended here. This is just for educational purposes. And uh, when you will search online, so uh, for Morse code generators, so like you enter a word, a uh, English word, and then you can get the the particular Morse code for it. So I have tried to uh, to generate the Morse code sounds for the word boy and uh, the word Morse. So uh, you can see the demo here, which I will be showing. So this is a very extremely simple circuit and it is just for educational purposes only. So only the 555 is utilized here and uh, yeah so to make this circuit better you the advice I can give here is that try to utilize the uh, transistor buffer at the output of the pin 3 that would drive a speaker. Always attach uh, uh, filtering uh, filtering capacitors at the, at the power rails and uh, and also one advice to be is to utilize uh, uh, a very low value of capacitor to be placed in the in the pin 5 of the IC the pin 5 is the control voltage since you are not using it hence it is advisable to uh, uh, utilize uh, a 10 a 10 pico or something 100 pico of value that is to be tied to the ground so yeah these are the some points which you can uh, uh, you can note down to improve the circuit but nevertheless this circuit works just fine and uh, you can just play with around it and I hope you have learned something from this video and uh, you can also make a similar things of yours. You can try to play with the values of the RNC to get the desired frequency for the Morse code. So typically it should be around 600 to 800 hertz and uh, you can attach a potentiometer to make up for the desired value for generating the Morse code sound. So thanks a lot. Please like, share and subscribe and I will come up with more videos. Thank you.